Sinking Media in association with Boxer Clifton Mitchell, trainer of Sandy Ryan. Big, big opportunity for your lady this Saturday. Like I just said to her there, did she ever think from losing a fight two fights ago, she's going to be fight for a world title in the third fight? I didn't think it would come that quick, but I always knew that this girl is one of the most talented women in boxing. Um, but like I said, as we've all got wives here, <laughs> we know women are a little bit complex more than... So, you know, she... She's, she's got an opportunity, she has to grab it with both hands. She has to be a cold-faced assassin, understand? That's all she's got to be, no emotions, don't get mad, don't get angry, just stick to the plan. How good is her opponent? Uh, I think Sandy's not aware of any amateur pedigree, but she's undefeated, she's obviously 30 odd years old, uh, so she's going to be a tough woman from Canada. Uh, has she got much of amateur pedigree, have you done much research? I've done really much research on her amateur career, but I do know that she's been through a lot of turmoil and stress in her life. She's had um, people die around her and uh, parents and bits and bobs. So, you know, she believes that this is her time and this is her destiny. This is going to be the light at the end of the tunnel for her. So I know this woman's coming to bring everything and the kitchen sink. So we are prepared for every eventuality. All fighters are going to say all the same thing. All trainers are going to say, yeah, we're the best training camp ever, this and that. Listen, Sunday Ryan, it, this is just another fight, understand? With a, with a title at the end of it, understand? So all we've got to do is win. And if she wins, or when she wins, then we're sitting in really, really in a really good place, understand? Regarding word on us and be able to move forward from this and, you know, there's, there's fights at the back of this. But first and foremost, we're going to get this W, you know? Any concerns that, that she's now got a side, because um, even though she's saying she's not uh, sidetracked, but back of her mind, she's going to be knowing there's an undisputed fight after this, which is probably going to be a lot more money. It's going to make her more financially secure and it's going to make her potentially an undisputed champion. You know her very well. You've known her since she was a kid. Could that be a distraction? First and foremost, you know, I don't think that doesn't really make any difference. At the end of the day, if she doesn't win this, all that doesn't mean anything. And I know what you're saying regarding... Um, uh, having more pressure on her. Pressures, 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 pressure. You're going to have pressure on your whether She had more pressure on her against Farias, for me, coming back after that than she has for this fight. Understand? So, all in all, pressure's good for her because she knows that she has to switch on. You know, instead of going in there thinking, I'll walk through this and walk through that and not training. She's done it, she's done it right. And 147 to her weight. Not even 140, 170 her weight. She, she made 140 because that's where the um, all the action is. Understand? But she sits at 147, goes and cleans, goes and does, a, does, does a demolition job on this girl on Saturday. I'm saying this because she's, she's over there. She can't. She's doing interviews over there. But I'm saying to you, if she goes and does a demolition job on this girl on Saturday, yeah, that's going to sit her in a nice, pretty position. Understand? So. All in all, you're just going to go and get the win. I'm not bothered if she wins it by one point, as long as she wins. I'm not even bothered if she looks good doing it. Understand? Just win. That's all that matters. Because when it comes to the records, it says W. It doesn't say, oh, that was a shit fight. Understand? So we're not interested in the win. And uh, obviously, I can't ask her this question, but what's your dream fight for Sandy? I know, even looking past McCaskill, looking at all the women that are in the country right now, you've got Teddy Harper, you've got Tasha Jonas, Clarissa. Name you one dream fight worldwide that you'd love to see in maybe in a year or two's time. Uh, against uh, Clarissa Shields. That would be a fight. They've sparred, so I've seen the spar. There was nothing in it. Understand? So that would be a green fight. Um, yeah. That would be because she is the the quote, understand? So Chris Shields and she can make that weight quite easily because she's greedy. I love that. Um, and then just quickly on another boxing topic, you, uh, it's obviously trending worldwide. This big heavyweight tournament, Clifton. Obviously, you, you've been around a lot of these big guys, you know, doing security through you know, through your company. <laughs> Uh, the big talking point is, should AJ take that interim fight? We know Fury has probably got to take a fight because he's uh, got to defend that belt, otherwise he'll be stripped. Usyk, I've been told today, has to defend his belt against Dubois. So they're in a position where they have to take fights. But AJ, from what we're hearing, is looking to sit out because he doesn't want to take the risk of potentially not looking good um, or not winning. I think um, AJ was supposed to box Deontay, isn't it? That's what they're looking at, yeah? 
for me personally, uh, I think he needs to spend more time with his with the, with his trainer, yeah, and do some more work and improve on his last performance. Now, Franklin was a good fighter. People don't realise how good he was. Everybody thought that Dylan didn't really do the job on him, but Dylan did a better job than AJ for me. Understand? But I think. I think it's a good idea for him to take time out and spend more time in the gym with his trainer because having a, even if it's eight weeks, he's still not really, now, is it, what's his name, his trainer? I can't remember his name. Something James, isn't it? Derek James? Uh, Derek James, yeah. Yeah, so I think he needs to, he's seen what he did and moving forward, he can take that fight later on. But like I said, it's a massive fight and you'll have to go out there. If he fights Deontay, you've got to put it on Deontay. You can't sit back and hold, wait for him to start loading up and getting comfortable with it. You've got to push him backwards. You know? So I think it's a very good idea that he does that. And I think, who's um, Tyson got? Is he boxing um, uh, Andy yeah. Ruiz? But the rumour is Andy Ruiz or could be um, the other Cuban guy, Sanchez, Frankie Sanchez, yeah. uh, or potentially Otto Wall in rematch. Mm. Yeah, probably. I think he'd probably go Otto Wall. Well, because uh, Zang if Joyce won't take that fight. Yeah, I think I think um, I don't think Joyce should take it. I think Eddie Eddie was brutally honest in his last interview when he spoke about him. I thought he was brutally honest. I think you know if he's speaking facts, he's not lying. You can always come back to it. Um, I think Zhang was very very good. I think uh, Joe Joyce is. You can't dine out on your chin all the time. Heavyweights can punch, and I thought Joe, Joe, I thought Parker might have had the same result against him. So I backed Parker to beat him because I knew he always getting it. He's always getting it, and sooner or later, you know, if you drop a cup on the floor and you chip it, and you put a little and you glue it back together, keep chipping it. Sooner or later, it's going to break, and that's what happened to him. And as much as he says, "Oh, you could have got through it later on in the rounds," heavyweight boxing, man. It's heavyweight boxing. You can't afford to take them chances. You can't dine out or trade on your trade on your toughness. Not with heavyweight boxing. If AJ Wilder does happen right now, from what you've seen from both guys, um, people have questioned whether Wilder's still the same fight after the two brutal losses to Fury, uh, and people are questioning if and people are saying if AJ still got eye of the tiger. I think I think he'll get proper up for that. I think AJ would get up for that. It wouldn't surprise me if AJ knocks him out. But it also wouldn't surprise me if he gets knocked out. But as long as you go into that fight 100% switched on, whatever happens, happens. You know? And I think with heavyweight boxing, this is, this is like 50-50. I think it's a real 50-50 fight. Everybody, people might pick um, Dante because he's got that such of a big punch. But, some, but I think... But Derek James is new trainer. I think he'll give him a little bit more uh, instruction that he's going to really take on board. But like I said, when you get in there, you know it all changes. And I don't know. Uh, listen, they both they both seem very very um, distant. Both of them seem very distant, as in like, are they really still in love with the sport or not? You know. And I think that's that's pro might be. This might be spot the fire in both of their bellies. Yeah? Yeah, cash out. And listen, I will say that Anthony Joshua is the biggest reason why British boxing went to the level that it is. Nobody else, nobody else, not Tyson Fury, not nobody. Anthony Joshua is the one that's brought UK boxing to another level. On that note, Clifton Mitchell, appreciate your time and uh, good luck this Saturday with Sunday. Up the rams.